have absolutely no idea, even if I'm live. Oh, wonderful. Well, I can tell you the degree of difficulty for this has been exponential. Um, I'll, I'll talk to you guys here for a little bit, um, and then we'll go live. Uh, I tried to have three cameras here running, but uh, I'm only going to be able to have one running, but at least it's in the middle of my fucking head, so you're going to see everything I see. But uh, I, I'm just going to um, passive record everything that's happening uh on the on the screens and you guys are just going to see what uh what i'm looking at but uh, i don't want to sit around out here for too long there's some weather coming through pretty soon and uh i yeah i just don't want to be um hanging around with the airplane stuck outside uh in fact it's starting to snow now It'll be a little bit unceremonious, but uh, fuck it, it's what we have to do. These are the cards we've been dealt, so um, let's see if we can make this go live. For you guys that are here, you guys are going to see the engine start up everything. Um, I I'm sitting in the cockpit right now, so... Um this is so fucked. Uh, Alright, that's saying we're okay. I'm probably not even going to be able to see a thing of chat here. Uh, the reason being is um, I think the little Wi-Fi thing is too cold, and uh, I, I'm not transmitting any Wi-Fi, so um, I, I'm probably just going to have to. I'm probably just going to have to do the runs. Even the uh, even the other fucking cameras moved. Um, yeah, the, the degree of difficulty here is uh, really, really fucking high. Um, I, I'll try and get this. There we go. So you can see I'm live if I wave my arm around. A little bit of luck. Oh yeah, you can see my, my little hands there in the window. Yeah, I'm starting to get snow in the cockpit here, so... um. I, I'm going to have to get started. I'm really sorry, guys. I, I wanted this to be a little bit better, um, but I, I just can't do this all on my own. It's uh, really, really fucking difficult. I'm sorry. So um, I'll see chat here for a little bit, uh, and I, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just check webcam here. So I've got the laptop plugged in right at the moment, um, just so my, my poor laptop's on the way out. So um I needed to get as much go go juice into it as I can. So I'm going to start the aircraft. Then I'm going to unplug um, this cord here, uh, throw it out the aircraft. There's a USB cord here. I'm going to throw it out the aircraft. We're going to taxi away. We'll do some engine runs. Um, I'll try and um, show the camera across the, um, the, the displays as we go. I, I tried having this camera set up, but it's the exact same camera that I got on my head. And I think there's some USB conflict. Uh, I could have spent hours trying to figure this shit out, so uh, um, don't worry, the, uh, the the small little aeroplane thing, it'll go away um, pretty quick, and uh, any questions, please, mods that are there, um, any any questions, I see there's enough mods there, mods, please, if there's any questions, um, copy paste them, put them into a text file, and uh, I will... Um,
I'll, I'll answer them when I've got the aircraft back in the hangar and it's not minus a million. And yeah, like this is the weather that I'm looking at um, right now. So I'm kind of a little bit scared. Um, but uh, I, I want to get the engine run done and um, bring it back into the hangar. And uh, then we'll start doing some work after I've answered some questions from you guys. So I'll run through the start cycle, run through everything I'm looking at. We'll go out, we'll pull some power, taxi it around a little bit. I'll talk your way through here. So it's going to be a bit of a dictation, um, unfortunately. But uh Dem the cards we've been dealt. So um, I'll start the thing up, keep the um, laptop on power as long as I can. There's a chance the stream will drop. Um, and if it drops, uh, just give me a chance. Once I've got the aircraft back in the hangar, I'll close the hangar up. You can, I'll show the, the super happy fun time out there. And then we'll, uh, then we'll get rolling. So um, I don't see anything. Uh, explain 11 VFR. Are you flying for real plane? No, we're just sitting in one. Um, someone answered the question. There's an airplane. We're doing an engine run. We're trying to perform um, some testy tests, and uh, we're going to go from there. It's probably going to get loud. I don't have an attenuator on the microphone, so uh, if it starts getting loud, um, sorry guys, just turn down the fucking volume. That's uh, all I can give you. So. Uh, uh, yeah, that's all I got. So, uh, all right, welcome into the aircraft. Let's uh, get rolling here. So we are in a tail dragger. So um, let's go ahead and get my feet here centered up. So tail dragger, I'm going to go ahead and hold the stick full aft. Uh, if you can see here, I got uh, my hand wrapped around the stick here. We'll run through the cockpit. Once we're um, up and running, I'll go ahead and talk a little bit more. And uh, we'll just make sure that we're clear left, center, right, and we're not going to run into anyone. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of difficulty. I had to jam the tail wheel onto the snow so we're not going to go anywhere but uh, let's run through everything here let's go ahead and make sure the ignition is off and uh, as you can see it was still left on um, we'll go ahead and run our way across here we'll make sure the throttle is at idle mixture is at rich prop is full fine fuel is still currently off we'll go ahead and check all the switches are off and then we'll go ahead and check all of these um, fantastic circuit breakers and we can see the aircraft is completely dead the canopy is still a little bit open but we're just going to leave that open for those cords uh, so let's run through getting the thing fired up. So first thing we need to make an aircraft make noise is fuel. So we'll come down here and we'll turn the fuel tank on. So we've got a little a little catch there. We're going to lift up and we're just going to use our thumb and flick the fuel tank over to the left hand side. Okay, fuel is now on. We'll just take note of a little note there. No, no boost pump with the right tank. Well, we're running off the left tank. That's no real problem. Just go ahead, check the throttles, check the ignition, check ahead of us here. Let's go ahead and go battery to on. And I'm going to turn Avionics Bravo on. And Avionics B is uh, actually this screen and that screen. Uh, actually, I'll turn them all on because uh, I know the, um, the aircraft's got enough juice. So we'll wait for the Dynons here to fire up. I'm going to keep the GPS off. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to turn the comms off. There's no need for them to be on. So we'll turn the comms off, save a little bit of uh, battery there. And we'll just wait for the Dynons here to go through their... Uh, this start cycle and yeah sit back and relax all right so i'm just going to keep the um the, the engine screen up here once we taxi out i might go through some of the other engine things but uh uh yeah whatever we'll just uh, we'll deal with that later so we'll clear these cautions uh yeah whatever cancel uh caution Yep, whatever, cancel, don't care. So this is what the screens regularly look like here, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and make sure this here is the, um, the EMS as well because of recording here on this camera. Um, and uh, without further ado, let's uh, let's, take, let's make some fucking engine noise. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure my um, pedals are centered right down there. I've got um, toes up on the brakes. Batteries on, avionics are on. Let's go ahead and mixture is going to come on. That's left and right is on. We'll go ahead and set throttle. So I'm just going to ease the throttle forward there about an inch check mixture is full aft prop is full fine what we're going to do is go boost pump on here i'm going to ease the mixture in we're going to look for fuel flow and uh, where we're going to see fuel flow here is uh right here so this fuel flow this gauge there uh we're going to be looking for uh, an indication we're going to use our ears listen for sound and uh then we're going to um add mixture blah 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 all right sounds really um hard but we'll go ahead and show it so here comes boost pump mixture Fuel flow, there's one, there's two, there's three. Boost pump off, mixture idle cutoff. Done. We've primed the engine. So uh, let's go ahead. We've confirmed the mixture is well, mixture is idle cutoff. Fuel is on ignition. Clear ourselves around. Make sure we're not about to chop anyone up. And we'll go ahead and reset the throttle for start. Mixture is... So how we're going to start is going to start with the mixture idle. And then we're going to bring the mixture in. And uh, then we should hear a, a little bit of noise happening. So I'm going to go... Starter is over on the right-hand side. Uh, should make a clear prop sound. There's no one around. The airfield is quite quiet today. I'll actually flick on the nav lights because why the hell not. All right, let's go ahead and clear prop. OK, 
Okay, first thing we do is we go ahead and make sure mixture is all the way in, and then bring the throttle back, and we're looking for 1,000 RPM. And then the next thing we're checking right away is oil pressure uh, is in the green. Now, I have no idea what the um, sound is going to be like here, guys, so I'm probably going to have to yell over the top of the aircraft. Like I said, that's going to be your problem, not mine. I can't help you. Uh, let's go ahead here, make sure... Uh, I'll actually turn my microphone down here a little bit. There we go. So uh, all we're going to do now is um, just let the aircraft warm up. We'll go through some initial checks here. Oh, the screen's changed on us. Change that screen. Perfect. Make sure the alternator's on now. We can see that we're charging. So let's go through a quick initial startup here. We've got 1,100 RPM. Let's go ahead and be a good uh, engineer and make sure we set this back down to 1,000 RPM. All right, there we go. We've got a, just about 1,000, whatever. Oil pressure, it's in the green. Oil temperature, it's on the way up. We'll deal with that later. Battery voltage here. We can see the alternator is charging. If I go ahead and turn the alternator off, you'll see the battery voltage will drop to its current voltage. There we go. There are about 13 volts in the battery, so we'll make sure that alternator stays on. Uh, and then we can even go ahead. Well, we'll do this when we get out there. I'll load up all of the power and uh, go from there. I got 11 gallons in the left tank, 12 gallons in the right, and we're burning about two point two and a half gallons an hour here while we're sitting here at idle. Uh, what else have we got? We're just looking here for cylinder head temps and stuff like that. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Just uh, make sure the engine's doing engine things. I'm just going to sit here and uh, let the engine uh, tick over just for a little while, and uh, then we'll um, reconvene in uh, in just a little while. Like I said, I've got to unplug. All of this bullshit here so we can taxi away and um, hopefully get at it. Looks like we are still streaming, so I mean, that's a good start. I'm probably going to have to fuck with the screen here for a little while. So let's, uh, let's get the screen here ready. Perfect. Uh, I'm not going to fuck with the screen anymore. Uh, so this is what we're going to have to deal with. Alright, I think my laptop has enough go go juice and uh, everything's still running here. So I'm going to start uh, disconnecting my umbilical cords from the outside world. There goes one. Uh, let's go ahead and unplug the laptop with a little bit of luck. We're going to have enough battery. If we run out of battery, guys, I'm really sorry. Uh, the laptop's a million years old. So uh, let's do it. Let's go and make some engine noise. Well, as much as we can until we run out of battery. Oops. Oh, just closed up the canopy there, and uh, let's go taxi out. So I've got the stick all the way aft on the brakes. We're going to need a little bit of power here to get the thing moving. All right, we're all good. So as you can see, even in a tail dragger like this, it's only a small one, uh, I can see fuck all over the nose. And uh, there's snow and shit all around us. So uh, my actual primary concern while I'm taxiing here right now is uh, these snow banks off to the side. If I uh, push my wing too far over to the left there, uh, I'm probably going to scrape the underside of the wing on all that snow. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and taxi right down the middle of the taxiway here. Do a few little S turns so I can actually see. Yeah, you'll see all those... Uh, Big ass snow banks over there that we've got to deal with. A little bit of go go juice to get up the hill. Our windsock is identified over there. We can see what way the wind's coming from. And around we go. Go ahead and be a good pilot, put uh, aileron into the wind. See my right hand aileron is up, wind is coming from the right.
And that's the Smith Falls Flying Club just over there. No one's out flying today. It's uh, not the world's best day to be out and about. It's a bit cold and a bit shitty. Couple of people in the clubhouse though. We'll piss them off and make a whole heap of engine noise. So you can see we've got a bit of ice here, so I'm not going to put the tail wheel anywhere near this ice or any of my other wheels near this ice. We'll uh, taxi on forward here, give ourselves a nice bit of uh, dry tarmac and uh, a fair bit of room ahead of us here because we are going to pull a little bit of power. Make sure the tail wheel's straight. Perfect. All right, so initially I'll go ahead and set 1200 RPM and uh, we'll just let the aircraft stabilize. So you can see the EGTs here are a little bit split. That's okay. Not too worried about it. The cylinder head temps are looking all right. Oil temperature, that's eh, probably as good as we're going to get when it's uh, minus nine outside. And oil pressure, that's eh, looking good. We can go ahead here and uh, do a um, little bit of a power check here. And so what I'm going to do is turn all of the electrical systems on on the aircraft here. And we're just going to keep an eye on the battery and we're going to keep an eye on the amps. The amps are telling us how much electrical power all of these items here are drawing. And what it's going to do is it's going to test that the alternator is working correctly. So I'll go ahead and do that. Let's just start turning shit on. So I'll turn the Garmin on. I'll go ahead and turn on uh, COM2, COM1. And then we'll load up all of the lights. So if we see here already, I've gone from 4 amps to 10, just turning on the radio stack. And now we're going to go ahead and go pedo heat. Another 2, 4, oh, there we go, a heap of, uh, heap of amp draw there from pedo heat. And we'll flick on all the rest of the lights. And you can see here, we're drawing about 23 amps with everything turned on, bar touching the flaps or the boost pump. So that's a pretty good load. And we can go ahead and turn off the alternator. See if the load drops, and it does. We'll bring the alternator back on. Fantastic. We'll unload all of this again. Turn all the lights off. Leave the nav lights on. Strobe lights. Peter Heap, no requirement for it today. What else? Well, we're just going to sit here and uh, let the aircraft get stable in temperature. We're going to look for um, temperatures here on the cylinder head temp. And we're going to look for EGT here to just start stabilizing. What I want is the whole engine to get to a nice stable temperature. Uh, it's called heat soaking the engine. Uh, whatever, yeah, okay, GPS is off. It's called heat soaking the engine, and it's quite important to do before you pull any major power. So, uh, uh, when we start pulling power, there's going to be limitations here. I'm already yelling, and I don't know what the audio is like, so uh, it is what it is. We might have to deal with this in post-processing or something like that, but whatever. Um, could pull on some cabin heat, that'd be fucking nice. Give me some heat. However, it does heat stuff. So what I'm going to do now is progressively bring the RPM up. We're going to go to 17. Oh, I'll go to 1800 RPM, and then we'll do a mag check. Um, now this aircraft is fitted with an electronic ignition and a magneto. Now, so one is mechanical, one is completely electronic, and uh, we'll just make sure the RPM drop there. Now, with this aircraft, there is a problem with the uh, electronic ignition is the sensor, for some reason, um, bugs out. And you'll see an RPM drop here of uh, almost double. And the problem is, is uh, the software is just dividing by two or whatever. Uh, the, uh, the RPM drop isn't that, per, um, isn't that uh, huge. And you can hear it actually in the engine note that there's nothing, no, no real problems there. So uh, let's go ahead, I'll bring the power up to 1400 RPM, then I'll bring the power down and I'll uh, talk a little bit more. This is just to let the engine start getting to a stable temperature. It's 1400. Now we just sit, is chill out and let the engine get warm.
All right, so I can see the cylinder head temperatures here are starting to stabilize out. Those telling me the heat starting to soak all the way out to the engine. The oil temperature's looking okay. That's all we're going to get here. We're probably at around, what, like 50, 60 degrees. That's all we're going to get with this outside air temperature. So uh, what we're going to go ahead and do next is um, I'm going to bring the aircraft up to 1800 RPM. We'll do a mag drop. We'll listen to the sound and uh, we'll just take note of uh, the engine there. After we've done that, I'll cycle the prop, which will be uh, getting all of that cold air out of the prop hub back into the engine. And what will be interesting to see here is when I'm cycling the prop, take note of the oil pressure here. The, uh, the oil pressure you'll actually see fluctuate uh, as we cycle the prop. Temperature will probably stay the same here, but uh, just keep an eye on the oil pressure. When I start cycling the prop here, uh, you'll really see this um, oil pressure start to, to move back and forward. The other thing I'll do as I start bringing more and more power into the aircraft is you'll see me looking out to my wings. And what I'm actually doing here when I'm looking out to my wings is I'm looking for any relative motion of the wing. So uh, when you're using, uh, this isn't necessarily a high powered aircraft, but it is a high performance aircraft. And, and if you're doing an engine run in a um, high power aircraft like Spitfires, Mustangs, Hurricanes, things like that, that is your point of reference, your wing, because you actually won't notice anything out the front. One, you can't see out the front. And two, your eye is not very good at picking up whether you're creeping forward. And the other thing you won't notice until it's too late in, the, in those aircraft, Spitfires, Mustangs, stuff like that, is the tail will start coming up, especially on a Spitfire. And uh, you're not going to notice that looking out the front because you can't see out the front. However, if you're looking at your wingtip, you'll start to see the trailing edge will start to come up. You'll see the nose will start going forward and you'll see relative movement of the wing. It's much easier to look for movement of the aircraft out here than it is out there. So uh, you'll see when we get to 1800, I'll check my wings, make sure they're not moving just in case we're stuck on a bit of ice and uh, or the aircraft isn't happy or I don't have enough brake pressure. And then I'll go ahead and keep an eye on the instruments and I'll go between checking all of these places while I got power on the aircraft. So let's go ahead, bring it up to 1800, do a mag check and uh, then cycle the prop. See the oil pressure there? Watch it as I cycle. There we go. After I've brought some power, I'm going to go ahead and bring the throttle all the way to idle. We're going to check that the engine idles here. We're looking for around 600 to 700 RPM. It is a little bit low here at uh, 600 RPM. That could be due to mixture or anything. So the, uh, the low RPM here is fine. Uh, that 50 RPM is not too big of an issue. In fact, with this aircraft, it's uh, very, very slippery, really short wings, and uh, it actually needs that much power to be able to land. Uh, otherwise, it's just, it just carries a little bit too much power, and it'll just float down the runway just a little bit. Next thing is uh, I'm going to take it back up to 1800 RPM and I'm going to control the mixture here and we're going to be checking EGT and cylinder head temperatures. I just want to make sure that this mixture here is controlling um, uh, 
mixture. I want to make sure that's happening, and I want to see that we're not going to um, have a major split. So I've actually got each cylinder of this engine here um, telling me its cylinder head temperature and its EGT. And what I want to see is some nice lines there that are fairly, fairly straight. Um, if if there's one one cylinder that's really dropped in, or um, there's a split, uh, then then I'm going to have to um, have a little look at that cylinder. And what's great is they're numbered, so I know exactly what what part on the engine I'm going to have to look at a little later. But uh, I'm not expecting to see anything like that. So we'll control the mixture at 1800. We're going to be heating the engine up by reducing fuel, as fuel is a um, fuel is uh, how do you say almost a coolant. It acts as a cooling agent inside the engine uh, when you have a high mixture. So I'm going to bring that back, make the engine run a little bit hot, and um, that'll also burn out any crap that uh, we've put on the spark plugs that we've been sitting here idling. So it's a that's a good thing to do. Now we can see the temperature here is starting to to creep up on us. I, I'm not worried about overheating the aircraft here. It's like it's like minus nine outside at the moment. So. Uh, now, I'm not too worried about temperature or anything like that. So, uh, anyway, let's take it back up to 1800 and we'll uh, do a mixture control check. So the temperature is starting to rise. Temperature is starting to rise. You can hear the engine's not happy, starting to run out of fuel. We can hear the RPM rise when I bring in a little bit of fuel. Right now, we're at uh, highest horsepower for this RPM. Cylinder head temps are a little bit up. Now watch what happens when I push it all the way in. Watch the temperatures. They're all trending down. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, looks like uh, everything's still working on the stream here, so that's really good fucking news. Um, what I'm going to do now is we're going to take it up to power. I'm probably going to pull maybe 22, maybe 2300 RPM. That's going to be uh, around about, this engine's 160 horsepower, so uh, that's going to be around about probably 120 horsepower. And, and even at 120, this plane wants to go flying. It uh, doesn't like being on the ground with that much power. And uh, you'll see I'll be quite nervous about watching the wings here. I really don't worry too much about the, the gauges here. I'm going to look at them later. Uh, what I'm really worried about is making sure we don't go anywhere. So uh, we'll go ahead, pull a little bit of power. We're going to have the stick here all the way aft, as you can see. And in fact, if you, you you may not see it in stream, but if you watch really, really closely, the aircraft actually starts hunkering down. Um, it, it just wants to go flying. So even though we're, uh, uh, we're a good three, 400 RPM away from maximum RPM, uh, there's no way I can actually pull that much power on the ground. Well, no way that I would be comfortable 
without um, someone sitting on the tail or having the tail strapped down. So uh, we're not going to pull full power, but we're going to pull as much as we can on the ground without the aircraft getting upset. You're not going to be able to hear me at all. That's going to take it all the way up to power. We're going to look at the T's and P's, temperatures and pressures. We're going to check all this out. We're going to try and burn all the shit off that's um, um, stuck in the oil right now. And uh, then we'll take it back to the hangar and uh, we'll reconvene. Any questions, queries, comments, we'll um, deal with it in the hangar as I start pulling the plane apart and uh, start having a look at the engine. So uh, let's do it. You'll probably also see my legs start shaking. That's how much pressure I've got on the brakes. There we go. It looks like we have a happy aeroplane. Um, I, I think I've got a little bit of time left here with the battery. Yeah, we got about 25% uh, power. So uh, why don't we go for a little adventure and uh, we'll show you taxiing uh, the tailwheel dra the, the tailwheel aircraft here and uh, get the thing rolling forward here. Probably pissed everyone off in the clubhouse now. So we'll head down the taxiway here. We'll spin around up the end. And uh, then come back. So obviously, uh, with a tailwheel aircraft, well, maybe not obviously, we've got the stick all the way aft pretty much all the time. Uh, the reason we do this, let's watch that massive fucking chunk of snow there. A precipice. Um, eh, not the best idea coming down here, but whatever. So uh, when we get up the end here, I'll show you uh, how quickly you can turn a tailwheel around. And this is why a lot of people still love these aircraft. One, because they're just cool as fuck. But uh, the other reason is, of course, that uh, uh, the ground maneuverability of them is phenomenal. And uh, if you know what you're doing, you can whip them around really quite easily uh, in a nice, stable fashion. You do it wrong, you ground loop and you look like a noob. Let's make sure we clear everywhere ahead of us there. The other reason why I'm doing this is just to shake the aircraft down, feel if the brakes are okay, if one brake is stiffer than the other. I want to know about it so I can fix that when we uh, start doing work on the uh, the annual here. So I'll give it a little bit of a squirt of power here and we'll swing the thing around. Oh, look at that, you can swing it around really nice and quick. This is why people love tail draggers. 
They're so shitty tricycle undercarriage air. Well, not shitty, they're just boring. They can whip them around really, really quick if you know what you're doing. But that also makes them unstable when you're trying to land. And uh, instability is maybe not a pilot's best friend. A great big bump in the pavement up here. Uh, the brakes on this thing feel great. I hope they do because I, des <laughs> I, uh, I made all of the hydraulic lines for the brakes in this aircraft, so... I hope it feels good. Alright, well hopefully we're going to have enough go-go juice in uh, the laptop. I'll take the laptop out of the aircraft right away and uh, I'll set it up. It's going to take me probably... Oh, where's that random fucking piece of ice I don't want to hit? Ah, yeah, there it is. Um... It'll probably take me 10 minutes to struggle to get the thing into the hangar. I actually had to dig the hangar out to get the doors open to then dig the plane out. Uh, all of this white shit. There we go. There's an engine run. Uh, we, we could have done a little bit more, I guess, but uh, that's really all there is. We'll go ahead and start unloading all of the uh, electronic bits and pieces. If you're wondering what this random thing is out on the wing here, is I was trying to record some sounds earlier, and it, uh, it just wasn't working out for me, so... A little bit unfortunate, but I gave it a go. Fuck! <laughs> Damn it! I, uh, I left my Logitech uh, webcam out there, and I can see the tripod's down in the snow, so... I hope it has some element of waterproofness, or otherwise, uh, yeah, it's going to be one dead webcam. Alright, where do I have room here? Yeah, I'll just swing the tail around uh, that way, so I can just drag it into the hangar. Oh, and we can use old mates. A little bit of his, uh, that guy's got a nice clear taxiway. I, however, do not. Alright, shutting it down. Uh, I like bringing it up to 12, 1400 RPM. That makes sure I clear all of the fuel out of the machine. I got the 1400. Kill the mixture. Make sure it, kill, it will remove all of the remaining fuel. Alright, let's turn her off. Here has a nice, nice, uh, really, really simple. Go ahead, turn the avionics off here. Alternator will come off. Make sure the ignition's off as we're going to be around the prop here for a while. And uh, that's it. There's an engine run for you guys. Um, we'll talk about it in probably 10 minutes. It's really fucking cold. I want to get the airplane in the hangar, start tearing it apart. So uh, I actually have some work to achieve. But uh, I'll be able to answer any questions, queries, comments. And uh, then we'll be able to have a little look at the engine um, on the inside once we pull all the, the, all of the panels off. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Make sure the fuel is off as well. And I'll shut down this camera here. And... Okay, whatever. Hopefully that was recording. I better probably turned it... Yeah, I better fucking stop recording. Fuck my life. Well, hopefully that was a good view. Um, I will... Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll just put this camera somewhere so you can laugh at me while I try and push the aeroplane back in. Yeah, it's really starting to be a little bit more sporty with the snow now, so... Uh, we'll see. <laughs> I'm going to struggle. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to carry all this crap in anyway, so that'll be fine. All right, um, all right guys, you're just going to have to give me a few minutes while I uh, get the airplane back in, get the laptop set up in there, and uh, then we'll start. So, uh, um, yeah, just going to struggle my way out of the airplane, I guess. I'll be right back. I'm getting spammed.
Well, uh, I'm, I was trying to turn the music on there, but uh, I can't get it. So I'm just going to go push this aeroplane in, and uh, then I'll get the stream um, sorted out here. So uh, sorry I can't give you any music, guys, but um, I guess you can listen to me swearing and grunting as I push the thing in. All right, I'll be right back.
All right, I'm here. Questions, queries, comments, congratulations. Anything will be good. Um, just give me a second. I uh, got to fuck with all these cameras and stuff. <sighs> Flying poo, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, yeah, I don't know what it is outside. It's pretty fucking cold, but yeah, I'm sweating. That was fucked. Let's not do that again. The mic didn't pick up any. Oh, that was great. So I was like screaming into the microphone. Yeah. <laughs> this co-pilot. <laughs> it was just screaming. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why is this guy screaming? It's so quiet. <laughs> the, the aircraft's so quiet and this guy's just like yelling at the top of his lungs. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> Oh, now desktop audio is back? Oh, I can hear myself. That's what's happening. I'm too high. Thanks, Shmoo. I... <laughs> Look at the pressure! <laughs> Sorry, guys. Like I said at the start, like, just turn the fucking volume down if I start screaming. Like, it was loud for me, because I didn't have noise-canceling headset. Um, we can hear yourself hearing yourself. Yeah, I just fix that in same bass. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. Wasn't funny for you guys. Would it be funny if someone just like tuned in and this is this guy screaming down the microphone while he's sitting in an aeroplane? Probably not the uh, <laughs> uh, world's best way to enter. Why is that guy yelling so much? It's so stupid. Except for the yelling. This is what I. Uh, what were you flying earlier? Nothing. I uh, just been fucking here. Did you get the sounds you need? No, I didn't. Um, I, I got some sounds inside the cockpit going, but uh, the other ones I didn't, which was unfortunate. Why is nothing working? Oh, it's back there. Oh, hello. There you go. You can see me. Wonderful. I don't want to think I've got this like well organized or something. I'll move this here. Uh, I still can't see chat yet, except for, um, yeah. Uh, all right. So, uh, so Australia can shovel snow and push a fucking aeroplane around. Oh, that was back-breaking. Yeah, so, um, auto-leveling. Oh, okay, that's great. Um, why didn't sounds work? I don't know. Uh, you can... Sounds working, right? You can hear me? You can like blah, blah, blah. I'm making I'm making the face noises and stuff. Cute! I was like throwing yeah, like putting my fucking back out, pushing this bloody aeroplane through the snow. Mm. No, it's a tail dragger, you don't have tow bars for tail draggers. Yeah, the webcam, that's this one uh, that, that you're looking at. I, I think the the, the the lens is a little bit um, how do you say um, yeah I, I I didn't download it but it's a it's on YouTube Angry Beaver so it'll be there uh, yeah so yeah that that's the camera there it looks like there's a little bit of um, snow got inside the lens so it's a little bit opaque at the moment but uh, we'll fix that uh, we'll fix that at some point um, and by fix it I mean I'm not going to do anything about it wait for it to dry. So the plan is, is I got a really hot engine there, and uh, my back feels like it snapped in half. So uh, it's probably the best time to start doing some engine work. I am going to need to uh, scout on mortality six. How's your day going, man? No, your web, no, my webcam. Calm down. Uh, what I'm going to do is, 
the uh, the, the wireless device, this thing here, I, I've been running it um, outside in the car, and I, I think I'm going to do that. So what's probably going to have to happen uh, is I'm going to have to stop the stream, run out this 100-foot Ethernet cable, and then we'll start streaming again. And uh, it, again, it will just take me five minutes um, to do it. It's just I'm going to have to disconnect the... Um, disconnect the thingy my bob uh so yeah you're just gonna have to bear with me and then we're gonna tear into the thing we're gonna rip the engine off and drop the oil and do all that fun stuff and uh have a good look and inspection of the engine do all those things and uh i think i'll probably call it a day after the engine is done so um take that hot oh, sweaty cowl off i know i got a d-rover so uh yeah we'll um We'll, uh, <laughs> so sorry guys, I gotta stop it, come back and do all that other crap. Um, but actually, why I'm here, how was it? Um, apart from me, uh, TASA, it's called a Vans RV-6. Uh, Vans Aircraft RV-6. It's an experimental aircraft. Little, little uh, aerobatic thing. They're great planes. Yeah, I've got two buckets. I went to, um, I had the most Canadian morning you'll ever have in your life. Uh, I, uh, I ended up, um, I had to go to, uh, Canadian Tire. Let me go ahead and get the fucking bucket and I'll, uh, show you, show you. I was like, where's my rest of my cordy cord? Okay, whatever, that'll be more than enough. I even got two buckets. It was great. Yeah, so my, my super Canadian morning, I was like, oh, I'm so in Canada. I mean, other than looking outside. So, I mean, this stream is uh, sponsored by Canada Tire. Oh, this is dropped down. How inconvenient. So, uh, Canadian Tire Bucket, that's who's uh, sponsoring us today. Um, so, I went to Canada Tire to pick up some buckets and... I never thought it would be so hard to find a fucking bucket. Like, yeah, I just want a bucket. They're like, oh, we have bins and we have... No, I just want a bucket, please. And they're like, oh, you mean to like wash it? No, I just want a bucket, please. Anyway, that wasn't the Canadian part. Walk into the store and like, as soon as I'm walking into the store, some dude's like, hello, mate. And it was like one of the guys that were going shopping. Like, just some dude. He's like, um, he was like, oh, you're going up the wrong stairs there, are you? How, I don't know. Canadians, and uh, he's like, you got to go to these ones, I'm like, oh, okay, thanks, mate, and he was like, oh, you're Australian, anyway, he started talking to me, and it's like, oh, if you need any help finding things in the shop, didn't know where buckets were, but, uh, yeah, just give us a yell, and he was like, oh, I went to Sydney, I was there for three weeks, I'm like, fuck, trust Canada, just have some dude start talking to you for no other reason that you're in the same vicinity as him, like, so Canada, uh, picked up some buckets um, that was harder than expected, and then after getting Canada, Canadian tyre wares, I ended up, um, going to Tim Hortons. I mean, how can you have a morning without Tim Hortons? So, uh, driving along with Canadian Tire buckets in the back of the car and uh, Tim Hortons in one hand and a uh, bagel in the other, and I was like, yeah, this is Canada. Yeah, so, yeah, so uh, that's the bucket we're going to put the oil in and uh, we're going to get ourselves all dirty and filthy. So, um, anyway, uh, any, I don't think the, it doesn't, God, tell this Canadian accent. So, uh, yeah, anyway, um, that was my that was my story for them this morning and uh, uh, for those of you guys that are eagle eye you'll see that the wheel pants are already off the plane um, I uh, before I started streaming I'd been here for four hours trying to set up and uh, I had to before I even dug the airplane out I had to dig the hangar out so I had to dig all around the doors um, just so I could open the fucking things and then um, and then it probably took me uh, 30 minutes just to push the thing out. And, uh, yeah, do do all of the checks and all that other stuff first. So, um, yeah. Get out of it, Mojo. Beat you up when I get home. Uh, all right, so, yeah, if you guys can just give me five minutes so I can run this cable outside, and then um, and then we'll fire the stream back up. We'll be huddled around the nice warm engine, and uh, we'll uh, start tearing it apart, drops of oil, and um, have a good look at the thing, and we'll talk about engines and point at things, and uh, go from there. Sound good? Uh, I have not lost my scarf. I have not. Calm down. All right, uh, I'll be back five minutes, less than five minutes, and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys still here. I think we're still in creative.
there we are. All right, let's start. Uh, let's start tearing up the engine. Hang out in chat, talk amongst yourselves, and uh, I'll be right back. That'll be the plan. Let's do it.